Food allergens are a problem all over the world and allergies exist in every country, but I guess the priority or the main allergens of concern are not always the same in every country. And so in some countries, milk, eggs, um, wheat might be the high priority ones, but if you then go to other countries, for instance, around Switzerland, Germany, celery is a specific problem. So the European Union mandates celery to be a listed allergen, which in the rest of the world is not a problem of concern. So often you'll find various regions of the world have other allergens on their lists that do not cause a problem in the rest of the world. We identified lupin as a allergen of regional concern, and it tends to be a problem in the countries that grow and eat lupins, so uh, sort of Eastern Europe um, and Australia, strangely enough. Prawn is a very common allergy within Western countries, but if you go to Southeast Asia, they do have a prawn allergy, but it, it appears to have a completely different basis and isn't apparently as severe. It's to do with exposure and it's the protein in the allergen that some people, for one reason or other, become sensitised to. And as I say, in some countries that might, um, exposure might lead to um, an allergy. In other countries, people um, can consume the same food quite safely. And that has, I think, has a lot to do with where you live. So the climate, the conditions, the environment you live in. Um, that could be temperature, could be whatever else is in the environment. What are the things you might be um, exposed to and um, things like cross-contact allergy is interesting it's something we have to live with and it's always going to be with us I think it's a case of being ahead of the game and on top of it and managing it.